What's going on guys? Just that officer here and I'm gonna do a video showing you guys the secrets to the white glove inspection. All the spots that are they're gonna check which you don't ever think about. I'm gonna show you the spots. Also I apologize there's a bunch of kids in the background playing. Um, but I'm gonna show you those uh, those little secret spots where they're gonna look where you're never gonna think they're gonna look to make sure that your car is clean and in and, and, and working order and how they want it to be. It's It's gotta be the cleanest car ever. So yeah, let me show you those spots and uh, let's get to it. Let's clean this thing, this car's dirty. I'm gonna show you it dirty uh, first, then I'll clean it and then show you what it looks like then. So let's do it. So spot number one right here is gonna be under the wheel well. All right, nobody ever thinks to clean under here really, or if you do, you don't think to clean it that well. well on a white glove inspection, this is one of the number one spots that they check. They're gonna take their hand, and either they have an actual white glove or they're just gonna take their hand, and they're gonna wipe under here. And if it comes out like that, they're not gonna like that. So make sure you clean under there really good. Uh, we'll clean it real good and see how it looks at the end. And now my hand's dirty. All right, so the next spot they're gonna check is obviously your engine bay. Not just your engine bay, they're gonna check over here. All right, they're gonna check for all this. You need to clean all this out. All up in here. We're gonna clean all that out. You're gonna, I'm gonna clean this whole engine. I'm actually gonna shine it up and everything. Make it look really nice. So that's spot number two. Oh, don't forget up here too. If this is really filthy, wipe it down. Wipe that down too, make sure it's nice and clean. All right, let's go to the next spot. So your next spot, obviously inside the car, you're gonna clean immaculate you're gonna vacuum everything make sure that you get underneath the seats uh, make sure you didn't drop a french fry down there they find that french fry uh -uh. but a big spot a lot of people miss is your door jams for example here see that line I just read there all there and all this door jam right here needs to be cleaned in between here everything so that's a spot a lot of people miss don't miss it all right to the next spot all right guys the final spot where you'll have never think to check, especially is this one. This is a big one that people forget. Make sure that this is clean. Don't forget about the gas cap. And I think that's everything. All right guys, now that I've shown you all the spots and where to clean and everything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing. Of course, it's Florida. Looks like it's gonna rain, but I still need to clean it anyways. Clean the outside, I'm gonna clean the inside and show you how clean it is afterwards. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, clean the patrol car. guys wife's home she's mad that I took her parking spot so she just parks on the grass we have this nice grass she just parks on the grass that's really close your it's daughter angle. Hi, I love you I love you <gasps> hey Hadley hey. what you doing yeah camera yeah did you have a good day yeah yeah you gonna get out and help daddy? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get out. You wanna help? Yeah. Okay. You hold the back by the trash, hold it open. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's you hold out. both sides. Let's clean out all hold this trash in here, Daddy. Daddy's got a little bit of a mess in here. Daddy always Daddy drinks a lot of water. A lot of caca. But he never a lot of caca. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can probably dump that out. We'll, recy we'll recycle that because we like to recycle. We should recycle those bottles too. More trash. Here you go. Can you throw that in there? All right. I think we did a good job on this side. I think I maybe have a few more pieces. Okay. Let me get them and we'll throw them in the bag, okay? Good job. Give me some nuts. Yeah. 
So of course I clean the wheels real good. And then as I clean the wheels too, I'm gonna get up here and make sure I scrub this as well. But I'm also gonna come back with a rag, a WD-40 and get up in there too and make sure it's really clean. And I know some of you guys are probably wondering, well, dude, it's gonna get just dirty <laughs> on my way to the police department or sheriff's department, or wherever I'm going uh, to get it inspected. It's probably just gonna get dirty again when I'm out on the road, right? Yes, um, it could, it could get dirty, but it won't get as dirty. Um, and you can, um, you're gonna bring a rag. So bring a rag with you the day of the inspection and just go over any touch up spots. Uh, especially under the wheel wells. Uh, make sure you do a dirty rag for under the wheel wells. You don't want to use the same rag for under the wheel wells on your car and put a bunch of scratches in it. Uh, depends on how much you care about your car. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Put everything, uh, clean up everything under there and just keep going. I got the family helping me out here. That's what I'm talking about. Right, guys now with uh some of you guys probably have chargers something like that but some of you probably have the explorers with the explorers don't forget back here um i've forgotten about back here before and they kind of geeked me on a little bit but nothing too bad um but yeah don't forget about back here uh especially in the trunks for you so you guys that have the uh chargers will leaves get all up in the back of the trunk there so don't forget to get all that uh, but yeah man she's clean did you just turn it on okay <laughs> let me see that all right so that's it that's everything those are all the spots that i showed you before and after of what they look like um so yeah obviously i'm gonna drive it tomorrow uh, to get the inspection it might get a little dirty underneath i'll wipe it up with a rag real quick just make sure i get those wheel wells i know it seems silly but that's what they do they do check under the wheel wells they do check all those spots um so it's better be prepared have a nice clean car that gets a good image for you um there might be some cars that might be a little not let, not as clean um they might forget some of those spots and they might not lose their privileges for their cars or anything like that but it still sets an example of who you are and how much you work you put into your car so do the work take this take the time make it nice and clean well thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to law enforcement you're that new rookie and you're getting your first inspection of this video helped you out and if it's if you're not if you're just curious about law enforcement things like that and you watch the video thank you for sticking around i appreciate it also if there's other videos that you guys want to see that are law enforcement related that you want to see um let me know down below in the comments um and i'll see if i can put that video together for you guys there might be some things that i can't really do being in law enforcement we're kind of limited on all the stuff that we can show you and do but i will do my best so leave comments down below Leave comments on how I may could improve my videos, what I could do better because I'm always looking for improvement. I'm just starting this out. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. What are you doing? Cool. <laughs> Does mommy know you're coming outside? Yeah. You told mommy? Mommy! Call Ashlight. Oh, now you told mommy? What were you supposed to do, Adley? I call Ashlight. Hey. Hey. You're opening the door to ask Daddy what? How much longer? How longer? Like five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a Robocop. I got family, got friends. I got people who depend on this job that I got. I'm not a Robocop. I got people in the ground and I got people in the system and I miss them, love. I'm not a Robocop. I got family, got friends, I got people who depend on this job that I got I'm not a Robocop I got people in the ground and I got people in the system and I miss them, love Yeah, I'm only human and trust me if you cut me I'ma bleed like you Bleed like you